Hi, it's James Harrison. I'm back to talk to you about another snare drum today. Today I have a Yamaha drum. And first off, let me say, I've been a Yamaha endorser for the past 26 years. So you will start to see a lot of Yamaha drums come up. Don't, don't feel like, I mean, my collection of snares and covers a lot of bases, but I, I do have a lot of Yamaha as well. So the one I'm going to talk about today is the Musashi Oak snare drum. It's got a black stain finish. I believe it's six. I didn't measure it. I switched and put wood hoops on here, and I, I have to admit that this is not, I bought these hoops on uh, eBay, and uh, I don't think they're the Yamaha brand, I think they're a knockoff of that, but uh, they serve the purpose for what I want to do for it, for the throw off is the rim was cut away, so it allowed me to do what I wanted to do on that. Um, the wood hoops dry the drum up a little bit, and I had it as a side snare, gig I used to play. Now, I haven't I played this drum in a long, long time, but uh, I wanted to get a kind of a nice crack out of it. Not so much like a 10-inch popcorn type snare, but just like higher than the standard snare I was using to get a nice crack to it, but at the same time have a little bit of depth. So that's why I started using this drum. So it's 13 inches, but the fact that it's a little smaller here um, makes, makes a difference in the depth of the sound. So it's not like a piccolo or a popcorn snare. Um, right now there's no muffling whatsoever. There's a controlled sound uh, Remo head, which means this one actually has a clear dot. It's underneath the top head and it's got the stock uh, head that came on the drum. I, I never changed it. Uh, again, I, if I was going to, I'd probably put a Remo uh, Diplomat, maybe a Remo Ambassador, but usually I like the Diplomat on the bottom snare. Um, so anyway, here's the drum with no muffling whatsoever. Okay, that was without rim shots. I'm going to do a few rim shots in the middle. Okay, cross stick sound. That's great cross stick sound. Snares off. snares buzzing there's there's several snare drums on uh, display shelves across the other side of the room and that's what's happening so as in the other videos I'm going to take a Vader uh, buzz kill this is the extra drive buzz kill I'm using that because uh, the fact that we're recording on a phone microphone um, so it will again slightly drop the pitch of the drum and dry it up quite a bit. <laughs> Okay, so I mean, I don't, I don't have anything bad to say about this drum. Um, one time, somebody knocked the stand over, uh, vacuuming behind the drums when I was in a house gig, and bent this. Uh, uh, it landed on the snare mechanism, and it bent the mechanism a little bit. So, uh, tuning the snare, adjusting it, not turning it off and on, but tuning it is, is, is a little crazy sometimes. But the, other than that, it works fine. Uh, it's, it's pretty pretty solid, of course, all the Yamaha stuff is. Uh, this one's missing one snare wire. Um, usually once I bust two or three wires, and I used to do them on this gig a lot, then I will replace the uh, snare wires because I feel like once you bust a, uh, a wire or two, it get, unless you're going to clip it evenly, uh, it tends to start pulling in weird ways, and then they just all start coming off. Uh, so it's kind of like a guitar string, especially with this, the nicer brand snares the way they're evenly tensioned or something like a Grover, if you were to pop a snare wire, uh, it's kind of like a guitar, it's gonna go out of tune and everything, so you wanna you know, clip it evenly. But that being said, 
a great snare drum. It worked perfectly for what I wanted it for. I could get a little bit of a timbali sound if I wanted. And, uh, you know, it's got a lot of uh, tuning range to it. If you want to go down, you can get a fat sound. Up, I can go a lot higher and get a nice crack. I don't want it to be too high. Again, if I wanted that, I would go to a, a, an even smaller snare drum. Uh, I just wanted to have something that was different than my main snare, which was more of a medium sound. So anyway, Yamaha snare, Musashi Oak, thumbs up.